All right, I don't know if your guys' Twitter account is the same as mine, but if it is, it was just talking all about the Zwag breath thrust uh, for pretty much the entire of yesterday and then some in today as well. So I thought I would go through it like I do and, and try to boil down what these people are talking about, why this could be impactful for what's going on in the market for this week's market wrap up. And as always, again, it doesn't change the way we trade over at Satsa Trading. I will run the numbers on the weekend when the market's closed. We'll get a whole list of symbols that we know has edge in the market. And then we will trade those as they happen next week. Again, the best part about being a systematic trader is just that, that we have the edge that we can potentially trade in the market um, to in good times and in bad times, we know exactly what we're doing. We're not floundering around reading news reports and wondering about tariffs and things like that. So again, if you're struggling in this market at all, if you don't have a trading plan, if you haven't back tested that trading plan, so you know what happens over a 20, 30 year period, uh, and you should come on over to Stats Edge Trading, you should try out Stats Edge Pro, where again, every week sent right to your inbox, a whole bunch of names from pullback strategies to mean reversion to breakout, uh, day trading strategies are coming, crypto as well, right? Uh, now that I don't need to spend the time hunting and pecking around the market because I know what I'm going to trade every week, uh, I have more time to build strategies. So that's what I do. I build strategies. If I find something with a good enough edge, I give that to you guys over at statsedgetrading.com. So definitely check that out. So let's get into this whole breath thrust thing, what it is, why it's important for the market, and, and what I think this could mean going forward. So if we pop in here, right? So this is from All Star Charts. Uh, they did a great job just talking, breaking this down, and what it is that it's looking at. So essentially, when we talk about market breath, we're talking about looking under the hood. So the S&P 500, as we all know, it's just a basket of 500 stocks. There's one thing doing analysis on that as an instrument, and I think that's totally fine. Market breath is looking under the hood. And it's saying, okay, but I'm more interested in what all of these 500 stocks are doing. Are they going up? Are they going down? Are they going sideways? What are they doing? So by doing that math and by going through stock by stock and, and counting all these and seeing what's happening with them, sometimes we can get some good signals. So one of them is the Zwag breath thrust. So what it does, it takes a moving average and it applies a moving average to the advancing versus declining. So these stocks that are going up versus the stocks that are going down every single day and just smooths that out with a moving average. Now, if we notice that there's a big spike down where a lot of stocks are moving lower day after day after day, and then that rapidly changes the other way around, it creates this signal. So this is the, um, the breath thrust the breath thrust signal. And again, it's happened about 18 times since World War II, and every single time the market was higher, um, six and 12 months later. So it's a rare signal, but it, it when it happens, generally speaking, uh, things move higher. So I've done a little bit of my own work here is just highlighting where we've seen some of these signals on the weekly chart of the SPY going back till the year 2000. You can see all, generally always happens in bearish or scarier markets. And then quite often it could be a way to signal uh, coming out from there. And then here's just a zoomed in version from 2022, 2023. Again, you can see one false signal here, uh, which would have been you, know, you would have made money again six and 12 months later, but it just wasn't, didn't signal a great time to buy. This one here would have signaled a pretty good time to buy. And then you can see it actually happened here yesterday. So we've had this nice push up um, and it's created this signal where it's not just a couple stocks that are moving higher. Everything is now turning and moving higher. Um, this is also just, again, showing that one year later, Again, 20% plus gains in most of the time happening here. Now, we have to take this and we have to say, okay, this is all well and good. However, when you have a rare signal, like with anything in statistics, it's going to have a little bit less weight. So happening 18 times and all 18 times being positive is great, but it's only 18 times, right? If you flip a coin 18 times, you're not going to get an accurate heads or tails and that's something that has a deterministic outcome. We know the outcome of flipping a coin. You're just not going to get that, uh, again, perfectly when you're when you're doing this. So we have to take that, and like with anything, we combine it with technical analysis. So that's a trading. I have uh, every trade or every system that I started building with has 
started with maybe a hundred thousand trades. And then I narrow it down and I filter it down based off of uh, statistics so that we get maybe 10 signals each week. But then still from there, we want to go and we want to look at something like this. And we want to say, what do the technicals say? We just don't want to blindly follow something because the system told us to. We want to put our own layer of thinking on top of it and, and buying when it happens. So this is what's happening currently in the market as I'm recording this. We are struggling with this uh, four, 550 ish area. And you can see why it's important. So we have uh, these lows right here that we're rallying back up to. And this is the anchored view out from all time high. You can see it was resistance here, uh, resistance back here, and then it potentially could be resistance here. So what I like to do is anytime you hear people talk about this signal is look into it. It's a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's a, uh, it has a really, it helps confidence when it comes to certain trades. If you know that there's something that at least in history is at a hundred percent chance of working, you can go back and say, okay, well now let me apply price. So how I'm looking at this Zwag signal is that if we can get and hold above this 550 area for any length of time, I am going to switch back on my trend following systems. I'm not just going to buy the market because right? It's going to be higher 12 months later, but it means I'm going to be a little bit more comfortable doing trend following. I'm going to be a little bit more comfortable potentially buying some stocks that have come from some setups that we know work and, and push those higher where for all of this kind of period of time, we have just been buying dips and selling rips. We've been doing mean reversion type of type trading. However, above this point, knowing that we have this signal behind us, well, now I'm going to be a little bit more interested in, in potentially buying breakouts, buying trend following, that type of thing. So again, you don't just take a signal like that and say, oh, it's, it's been right 18, 18 times, I'm just going to buy, but it adds two levels. It adds to me that if we can break this resistance, there's more of a chance that there is a potential bottom that has been put in. So Again, let me know what you think about all this below if you want me to take a, a little bit more of a deep dive into some of these signals as they happen because again, it seems like every week there's someone else's signal has done something. You know, we know the whole, uh, the inverted yield curve leads to a recession and, and all of these different um, people, things that have people have tested in the past. I will say with this one, like a lot of those, and 18 occurrences are not enough to be super statistically significant to me. However, it is something that has a 100% win rate, so it cannot be ignored. It's something we have to look at as well. So appreciate all you guys for coming by. And until I talk to you guys next week, get away from the screen. And StatsEdge Pro members, again, make sure you're paying attention to your inbox because the members-only video and all of those picks will be coming to you guys fairly soon.